On the road to WSC No Mercy, rivalries intensify and a family empire chooses to reconcile or tear apart as we find out what is next for these WSC superstars. I think it's pretty clear we don't like each other. You're a cancer in my locker room. You should have never gotten rehired here. But now that you are, I'll gladly put your ego in check because you think you're the best in the world. But guess what, buddy? It's 2023, not 2011. You can't hang with me in this ring. So if you're man enough, why don't we settle this issue one-on-one -on -one at no mercy? Oh, if I'm man enough? That's funny. The question is, are you man enough to cash that contract in? Because time and time again, you've embarrassed yourself. You don't know what to do with that. So I'll tell you what, let me take that burden off you. Put that money in the bank contract on the line at no mercy. And when I win, I'll show you how it's done. When I become a world champion once again. You want this? Fine. I'll mop the floor with you at no mercy. And at the end of the night, when Moxley and Cody are left beaten and bloody, I'll be the one to cash in and become the world hardcore champion. It is on at no mercy, the dream match we've all been waiting for. CM Punk, AJ Styles, who's going to be Mr. Money in the Bank? I hate fat people. They make me sick. There's no amount of money you could pay me to spend a night with one of his thick chicks. I don't get in the sheets with hogs. Whatever happened to natural selection? Survival of the fittest. How can a fat bastard like that be able to exist? It's a disgrace. Every time I see a fatty, I see the personification of laziness, of weakness, of gluttony. And Fat Bastard's message pisses me off. He's telling you all to be fat. I say be better. Oh, speak of the fat devil! And he shall appear! Fat Bastard, no doubt, has some words to say to some slander like that from Brock! Brock, Brock, Brock. I've been dealing with people like you. All my life, you're a bully. When I was a kid, the other kids on the playground, they'd pick on me because I was different. One day, I was eating a Twinkie, all alone on the school bench, when little Brandon, surrounded by his snot-nosed friends, stood over me and laughed in my face and called me a tub of lard. By that point, I've had enough. Every day of constant torment by this little bugger eater. So I'll tell you what I did. I scoffed that Twinkie down. I stood up and I yeeted Brandon all across the field. Then, I stood over his scrawny body, crouched down over his face and let it rip. As I gave him a taste of my world-famous beef stew! After that day, I never let anyone's opinion of me get me down. And look at me now! I'm freaking sexy! I'm surrounded by the thickest, hottest babes in the world! I get more ass than a toilet seat! But just like Brandon, you're a bully, Brock. And I hate bullies. So if you want to fight, let's fight at no mercy. And again, why wait till then? Oh, hold on, now wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Is he really actually gonna do this? We're actually gonna see this King Kong versus Godzilla. Oh, there's his ass again. Oh, he ducks the close line. He gets ready with the knob of weight. F5, no way, no way, oh! Oh my god, Brock Lesnar collapsed, crushed under the weight of the metric ton of Fat Boston. And now what's this? And now he's getting ready to give it up. Oh, no! No! Oh, no! Oh, god, I just saw oh. it from here. Get out of this, Brock! If you care about your life, that's terrible. Oh. Absolutely diabolical message by Fat Bastard to the beast! Two men with very different ideologies who will prevail at no mercy. The bloodline is back at full strength. My cousins unfortunately had to find out the hard way that our family is best with me on top. With me 
at the head of the table. I'm glad you guys realize your place, but I want you to know, I love you. I love both of you. I want what's best for you, for your family. The Usos are the greatest tag team of all time. And now, both of you are going to bring the tag titles back to the bloodline, back to where they rightfully belong. In what world could you let this guy right here beat you? It's a disgrace! You need to fix it! Hey Usos, we beat you fair and square, so I don't know what your daddy over here means by disgrace. How about you put some respect on my name? This kid's got an attitude. He forgot who he was talking to, y'all. Uh, listen, listen, listen. The fact of the matter is, you got lucky. And not only that, but you and your dog disrespected my family. How dare you tarnish my uncle's legacy with that goofy ass dog! You're gonna pay for that. Well, while we're both here, I think it's time to have a discussion about your next multiversal championship defense. And I don't want to talk to the wise man, I want to go direct to the head of the table. Oh, let me guess. You're gonna throw me in some wacky scenario off where I'm gonna fight a, a bunch of superheroes or, or dinosaurs or, or something insane because this is some kind of circus to you. Like I'm some kind of clown to you. Is, is that what you think of me? I'm some kind of clown to, to, to entertain all the kitties out there? Nah. Nah, the tribal chief don't roll like that. This kid right here wants all the big ideas, but here's the deal. I'm the needle mover around here. We run this. So it doesn't matter whether it's a ring, a giant shower, an acid pool, a swamp. It doesn't matter. I will take out every challenger because I'm the greatest of all time. And I'm the greatest in the entire multiverse. Interesting, so the thought of any of that doesn't scare you? Good, because at the No Mercy Premium Live event, I'm gonna have a little surprise for you. You're going to be facing multiple opponents, and I'm sure you're going to be just a little bit scared when you face them, but one of which is going to be the greatest multiversal champion of all time. That man is Shrek. What? Oh yes way! No mercy <laughs> has gotten a lot more interesting! Yes indeed! Don't you just love the multiverse? The greatest multiversal champion of all time! The Blade Freak fighting machine and he's going at the solo and he just tosses him like a little rag doll! Oh super king to the mouth! <laughs> that tickle! Run for your life, Jimmy! Oh, oh. That huge head but to Jimmy you so! standing alone against the Ogre King! You say you're the greatest in the multiverse! Let's put that to the test! This is a face-off I don't think anybody expected, but I think everybody needs! Oh. Superman punched to the jaw, Shrek! Thanks to the distraction provided by Solo Sokoa! This is a surreal sight, Shrek the Ogre in the ring! Reigns stalking his man, preparing a strike! Enough for the spear, but Shrek caught him! Shrek slam! To the champ! Will Shrek be the one to recapture multiversal championship gold at no mercy? Shrek is just the tip of the iceberg. Roman has no idea what's in store. 